I am sorry if you cannot relate to this speech. But when I heard about the Jack Petty Speak Out, I was told to write about what really matters to me, to write from the heart. So I started at home. Where are you from? Well, it's a matter of perception. All my life, I have been taught to identify myself by the roots of the blood that runs through my veins and be proud. See, I was brought up with a very narrow understanding of all the other black countries in the world. So when I got to secondary school and heard about countries like Congo and Uganda, Barbados and Antigua, I was shocked. There is an invisible strife stemming from the type of our forefathers between Africans and Caribbeans, even between black people as an entirety labels, discrediting the legitimacy of the other. Strife ranging from petty little fights about whether it's plantain or plantain, or which jollof rice tastes better, to even unheard civil wars. Biafran War, Northern Mali conflicts, Central African Republic Civil War, the list goes on and on. So when I meet someone, I find myself having to ask, where are you from? A little question that holds so much power and it just doesn't make sense because why does where I come from determine whether I am a good enough person for you to pursue a friendship with? Why does my Nigerian blood mean that I bust, judge or bank fraud? And because you're Ghanaian, it means that you fly in the air, pick dirt off the floor like pigeons? People, this is not all right. See, we live in a world where due to the amount of melanin in my skin, there is already a racial divide. So, why are we fighting a war against ourselves when the colour of our skin is already at peace with one another? There is no room to divide a minority into even smaller subsections. Instead of falling like grains of sand, blown away by the wind with no path or direction to take, let us come together and form a pearl. Because through unity, my brother, my sister, we shine. Thank you.